Hello everyone, we are back with another full self-driving version 12.5.4 in Murex. So we're gonna test some things where the car always makes mistake. So let's check it out guys. So I'm gonna turn it on right now. As you can see, we are gonna get, get out from this drive uh, way and our car is getting out as you can see right now. And I'm just gonna show you the software version. Uh, we tried it yesterday at night time, 12.5.4, but now this is the first time I'm trying it in uh, in the daytime. So we're gonna check it out how the car handles things here and there. Because where we are going right now, where the car makes mistake by fail to navigate us, we're gonna do some unprotected left. And we're gonna see the overall performance right now. We're gonna make a right turn on this stop sign. The car did it perfectly without any problem very good job there also guys this video is sponsored by our full self-driving magnet that you can purchase from Amazon and that's the easiest way to support me and you can let other people know that your car can drive itself so we're gonna go straight and I'm gonna make this GPS visible so that you can see where we are going and we need to change the lane and move to the left side a little bit because left lane because we're gonna march here on this stop sign we're gonna see there is no other car on our uh, behind so as you can see that white car just changed the lane we need to do that so we are doing it right now and pretty good there I'm gonna tell you where we need to change as you can see that black car just changed the lane to march here on this stop sign uh, on my previous version version 12.5.2.1 that car failed to navigate on the stop sign and completely failed and at the very last moment again at the very last moment you saw the hesitation that the car was making so there is a cop's car okay so you shouldn't go now you shouldn't go now because there is a car coming and there's a cop's car coming especially and this is something you shouldn't do so we're gonna turn it on again and we're gonna see how the car handles there are like few others car it should see that there are like cars coming as you can see right over there but it's still the car was trying to proceed which I don't like because why would you do that because there are like cars coming from the opposite side now you can proceed now you can go very good so what I was saying is I have to check the camera. Yes, the camera is there. Uh, we're also using like three cameras inside my views and also outside camera. So we're gonna check it out, right guys? We have to deal with this kind of situation. It is just something that I noticed in version 12.5.4 where the car wants to do things, but at the very last moment, it is very hesitant uh, driving um, in this kind of scenarios where we're making left turn. There is a person crossing the road as you can see now we are doing it and now pretty good there it is trying to park here we we don't need to park but we're gonna we're gonna do something that we're gonna um, cancel this destination and we're gonna go to our next destination also guys if you guys are new in this channel watching this video for the first time make sure you hit that subscribe button because this is the only free way you can support me as a content creator this is a very narrow road the car needs to be slow going slow very slow now okay it is deciding what it's gonna do it is taking like too much time now it's stuck completely it can definitely make this left turn there like so much space I'm just, I just wanna see what the car does here because I can tell you that there are like so much space in front of us and we can definitely make this left turn but the car is completely stuck. I don't know why, it is completely stuck and it is still trying. You can see the movement of the steering wheel and stuff like that but it is doing something. It is not calculating that, it never happened with me in version 12.3.6. It could do it and it was sometimes very close to the fence but we are stuck here. Let's see if I just press the acceleration a little bit and I'm telling the car to go now. It is doing it because I pressed the acceleration to tell the car, please go. You can make it, you can make this happen. So not sure, like I'm not happy with version 12.5.4 because the previous version can do the left turn here on, on this exact area. If you watch my previous video, you know that what I'm talking about, right? But in this version, the first thing I noticed at night time, it failed also, and then it rerouted us. But 
at in this time now there is a school bus this is interesting let's see what happens here this is very interesting no 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 this is what you don't do this is a school bus guys this is a school bus i'm telling you this is a school bus i'm gonna turn it on again no 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 no, no. i'm just i'm just keep shaking like the car wants to go the car wants to go i just want to see what the car does so interesting right interesting so i'm gonna turn it on there are like cars coming very very interesting things here and there with version 12.5.4 definitely i have to mention that i definitely have to mention that i'm very disappointed with this version like for some reason it seems like the car is doing everything wrong like why would you do that like there is a school bus you can clearly see the flashing red light and you just want to cross it and go in front of it why do we, why why would you do that because if our kids can definitely cross the road from in front of that uh, school bus right so we shouldn't do that so we're gonna go straight now and we're gonna do some unprotected left turn and we're gonna find out how the car does things here and there because on this unprotected left this is a tricky unprotected left because you need to do something that you need to make a right turn first and then you can do that uh, unprotected u-turn actually not a left turn but from that road you have to make a u-turn there is no other way you can make a left without doing it so let's see how the car handles these things right guys i'm just gonna check the camera pretty good there uh for some reason my mobile screen is black that's why i'm just keep checking uh so also if you want to support me as a content creator go on amazon and the link is in the description you can purchase the bumper magnet and that magnet can indicate other people that your car can drive itself right guys so we're gonna make a right turn on this green light as you can see um, our car is turning on the indicator slowing down very good job there no hesitation no problem already made like two major mistakes uh, not sure um, why but you know and now I'm gonna end the de de uh, destination here because we have to make um, a u-turn we're gonna find out how the car does things it is waiting for that red car it can definitely go because there are like so much space but it's just being nice giving a space to other car and uh, you know like um, you know just just being nice FSD is nice right guys so we're gonna make a left turn here and as I was saying we're gonna make an unprotected left kind of but it's kind of a u-turn so we're gonna find out in version 12.5.2.1 very interesting I just got one chance to try it and the car did it perfectly before in 12.3.6 it failed most of the time but it did it you know okay 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 some steering wheel nags because uh, in version 12.3.6 I never saw that in this area because I always test it here and there are always some parked car but in version 12.5.4 it did it we're going little slow because this is a very narrow road and I, I prefer to go slow in this kind of situation so what I was saying if I zoom in this is like three lane um, road and is very very um, uh, you know like uh, busy road where the car comes like this yes you need to go here okay and now now wait 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 wait, 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 wait. okay i just i just press the acceleration because it should just stay there it should just stay there and you know like now it is getting into his, this parking lot i i'm not sure why he's doing it probably is gonna navigate us and get us out from this parking lot. I'm just seeing it for the first time. It never did that in version 12.3.6, but in this version is doing this one. Like it is just getting into this parking lot and trying to get out from this parking lot. This is also a new thing that I noticed in version 12.5.4. Interesting stuff. In version 12.5.2.1, the car was able to make that U-turn the car was able to go and make that u-turn and make this un unprotected left turn but in this version unfortunately the car failed um you know we're gonna try to do one more time we're gonna find out how the car does things here and there so the gps is still loading our car is going a little slow i prefer to be here 
Um, I'm, I don't know why, why it is doing it. It is trying to do things like instantly, which I don't like. You could just definitely go straight and make a U-turn from here. So I'm not pretty sure why the car is trying to do things instantly. Like I know you missed that road, your navigation is taking time, but you just want to change two lanes at once and you know, like do the navigation. Don't like the idea like to do it, right? So let's see how the car handles things here. So I'm gonna take over on that next red light and we're gonna go, okay brakes and slowing down completely after you pass that yellow light first of all your speed was enough to go straight not hesitating there right but unfortunately the car was hesitating so uh it's a mixed feeling guys it's really a mixed feeling so we're gonna make a right turn i'm gonna navigate now and we're gonna see how the car handles things here and there so we're gonna do the same unprotected left turn kind of U-turn situation again to see how the car handles things again one more time. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see guys. Thank you for watching by the way guys. If you guys are new one more time, please subscribe to this channel because in this channel we're gonna talk about full self-driving, Tesla, Elon Musk, and stuff like that and as you guys can see the navigation is already set it up and we're gonna turn that on and we're gonna see how the car handles these unprotected left so as you can see right now our car is going straight and we need to stop on this stop sign look on our left side and right side inversion as I was saying the inversion 12.5.2.1 the car did this exact thing and did it perfectly so this is a red light, we can definitely go, we can definitely go, and this time it completely missed this. And we're gonna see if the car can handle this U-turn now. Okay, it is doing it, it is doing it, it is just following the navigation, pretty good, pretty good. Not a, not like mad at it, you know? So I'm gonna take over and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make another one, I'm gonna do another one, I'm gonna do another one because I wanna see how the car handles things here one more time. So we're gonna do a left turn here and we're gonna see how the car handles things one more time. So we're here, we're gonna do one more unprotected left. As you can see, I just turn on FSD and we're gonna try in version 12.5.4. Let's check it out, guys. We have to stop for this stop sign. We're gonna do that. Definitely the car turns on our right indicator because we have to make certain right and make a U-turn. This is a very busy road because it's almost like 5 p.m. And after this green light, you should proceed. Oh my goodness, okay. They're like other car coming. Okay, you're going so fast. You're going so fast. Now you can do it. You're going like super fast. Like, you know, it's not a critical disengagement or it's not something very critical that the car is making a situation that the car is hitting something or doing some accident or stuff like that. It's just, it just missed the navigation, it's just rerouting us to a different route and it's just increasing the time a little bit. But the end of the story is the car is taking you from point A to point B, slowing down, probably saw a bump. So slowing down suddenly making while making this left turn. I'm gonna end the navigation and go to our final destination, which is my house. We're gonna see how the car handles this right turn. This is also a very narrow road. We are in suburb area in Newark, and we're gonna find out. Very good, very, very good. Okay, yeah, 
quite nice just two mistake definitely a huge mistake on that school bus situation and definitely a problem with that navigation on that exact road where the car was trying to go while there is other car coming from the opposite side and now we're gonna go straight there is no other car pretty good there uh, creeping and stopping on stop signs are pretty good since like 12.3.6 but still now in my road is still a little hectic driving on that exact road while you have to stop for this stop sign and then proceed uh, but there is other cars coming and I just noticed in version 12.3.6 it never happened trust me it never happened that there is a car coming and the car wants to go and I had to brake but definitely in version 12.5.4 it happens twice yesterday night it did it and today in the morning time today at the day na daytime it did it too so we're gonna we're gonna see you know like more we're gonna do like more testing about that uh thank you for watching don't forget to order from amazon today and have a wonderful wonderful day